Hello and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka and the question says in each of the following give the justification of the constructions also. Now here the first construction we are dealing with today is draw a line segment of length 7.6 cm and divide it in the ratio 5 is to 8. Measure the two parts. Now we have already written down the steps of construction for you. I'll be reading one and the other steps one by one and drawing the diagram simultaneously. Now the first step of construction is to draw a line segment AB of length 7.6 cm. So let us draw a line segment of length 7.6 cm. Right. Now the next step is to draw a ray AX making an acute angle with AB and then draw a ray BY parallel to AX by making angle ABY equal to angle BAX. So what we need to do is we need to make equal angles measuring equal angles at A and B and the ray that we are drawing will be named as this is AX and this is BY. The angles XAB is equal to ABY. Right. Now we need to locate the points 5 points since we need to divide it in ratio 5 is to 8 therefore our M will be 5 and N will be 8. So on A we will be marking 5 equal parts and on B will, we will be marking 8 equal parts such that all the parts are equal to each other. So here we have to draw 5 equal parts. So this let it be 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Let us name it as A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. And AA1 is equal to A1, A2 is equal to A2. That means all these subparts are equal to each other. In the same way we will be marking on B. We need to mark 8 equal parts over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let us name it as B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8. You can mark these equal points with the help of the compass and do remember that the radius of the compass should not change while marking all the points on AX as well as on BY. Now we need to divide this line segment into in the ratio 5 is to 8, so we will be joining A5 to B8 and let it intersect at AB at point C. And then AC is to CB will be equal to 5 is to 8. Right? So what we need to do next is we need to join A5 to B8. And the point of intersection on AB, let us name it as C. So AC is to CB is in ratio 5 is to 8. Now for justification. What we need to do is we will be measuring AC and CB separately. This is equal to. 2.9 centimeter and this is equal to 4.7 centimeter and and this is the length of AC and CB respectively right and we can see that AC is to CB is in ratio 5 is to Eight. Right. So this completes the session. Hope you understood the solution well. Do make your construction neat and don't forget to write down the steps of construction neatly. Have a very nice day ahead.